Hello everyone, I am Sir Kenneth Dugay of STEM Teacher PH. Para sa lecture video na to, we will be solving problem about integration leading to ln or the natural logarithm. Ito yung formula na gagamitin natin. You have the integral of dx over x is just equal to ln of the absolute value of x plus c. So ngayon, kung titignan natin, medyo simple yung formula. Kaya for most of our problems, gagamit tayo ng substitution for us to simplify a complicated expression para magamit natin yung formula of the integration leading to the natural logarithm or ln. For this one, let's start with our first example. We are getting the integral of 2x over x squared minus 9 dx. For this one, gagamit tayo ng substitution. Kung mapansin natin, yung nasa denominator natin is x. Pero eto, meron tayong x squared minus 9. Kaya for us to simplify this expression, gagamit tayo ng u substitution. So we let u be certain part of our expression. Ang gagamitin natin ay yung nasa denominator that is x squared minus 9. Kasi kapag ka ginawa natin to, this will be in terms of u, kailangan din natin gumawa ng expression for dx. Kaya ang gagawin natin, we will be getting its derivative nung nilet natin ay u with respect to x. Getting its derivative nung both sides ng equation, ang mangyayari for our left side, derivative of u with respect to x, so we have du over dx. Dito naman sa right side, so, you have x squared minus 9. Kapag kakinuha natin yung derivative nito, ang derivative ng x squared minus 9 is simply applying power rule of differentiation equal to 2x. Tapos, solving for the value of dx, we can perform multiplication. So, we multiply both sides of our equation by dx over, eto papalitan natin ng dx, so we divide it by 2x. Kaya ang mangyayari for our left side, as we perform multiplication dito sa left side, we have du over dx times dx over 2x. So, madi-divide si dx, ang matitira lang ay si du over 2x. Tapos dito naman sa right side, we have 2x times dx over 2x. Ang mangyayari, if we divide, 2x divided by 2x is just equal to 1 times dx, kaya this will become dx. Now, we can perform our substitution. Kasi ang gagawin natin, itong denominator, Ito yung nilet natin as u. Tapos yung dx naman na nandito ay papalitan natin ng du over 2x. Now, let us perform our substitution. This is just equal to integral of. Yung 2x ay hindi natin ginalaw. So, that is 2x divided by. Ang x squared minus 9, we let that be equal to u. Kaya ito ay magiging u na lang. Tapos yung dx, that is just equal to du over 2x. Ang kagandahan kasi dito sa substitution na ginawa natin, now we can perform division. So we have 2x divided by 2x, that is equal to 1. Kaya ano yung matitira? So this is equal to integral of du over u. Kaya ang mangyayari, we were able to arrive at our given integration formula na dx over x, pero naman eto ay in terms of u. So we have du over u, applying this integration formula, this is just equal to ln, Dahil in terms of u tayo, ln of u and then plus c. For our last step, ibalik na lang natin yung sagot from in terms of u to in terms of x. Ano ba yung u natin? That is x squared minus 9. So therefore, this is equal to ln of u is equal to x squared minus 9. So ln of x squared minus 9 plus c. This is now our final answer. This is it for our first example. Let us try more examples of integration leading to ln. Now, let us have our example number 2, integral of dx over negative 4x plus 7. For this example, still, this is leading to ln or natural logarithm. Kaya gagamitin pa rin natin yung formula that is, the integral of dx over x is equal to ln of x plus c. We follow the same process as our previous example. Ilelet pa rin natin as u yung ating denominator. So, we let u be equal to our denominator that is, negative 4x plus 7 para makarating tayo dito sa integration formula. So here, still, we will be getting its derivative with respect to x. Kasi kapag ka yung denominator natin is already in terms of u, kailangan kukuha na rin tayo ng derivative in terms of u. Kaya as we perform our derivative both sides, dito tayo sa left side, this is still derivative of u with respect to x, that is du over dx. 
Tapos dito sa right side, madali lang naman, we apply the basic rules ng differentiation. Ang derivative ng negative 4x plus 7 is simply negative 4. Now we continue, we have to solve for the value of dx again. Kaya imumultiply natin pareho kay dx over, yung nasa right side, negative 4. Upon doing this, d over dx times dx over negative 4, we divide dx, so this is du over negative 4, or simply negative du over 4. Tapos yung right side, wala tayong problema, negative 4 divided by negative 4 is just 1, times dx, so we have dx here. Then, substitution na tayo, pagkatapos kumuha ng derivative, ang papalitan natin ay yung denominator, papalitan natin siya ng u, Tapos yung dx ay papalitan naman natin ito ng negative du all over 4. Now let us perform our substitution. So this is equal to integral of yung dx ay papalitan natin ng negative du over 4. Nasa numerator. Tapos then this is all over the denominator that is just equal to yung negative 4x plus 7 ay gagawin na natin u. And then, we just have to simplify. Ang gagawin ko, ihiwalay ko yung negative 1 over 4 para we can perform constant multiple rule. Kasi pwede tayo maglabas ng constant multiple sa ating integration. So, this is equal to integral of bringing out the negative 1 over 4 in the numerator. So, that is negative 1 over 4 times du. And then, this is all over u. Tapos, ilalabas natin yung buong negative 1 over 4. Ito yung constant multiple. So, this is equal to negative 1 over 4, ano yung matitira sa loob, that is just the integral of du over u, then pwede na natin gamitin yung formula natin for integration leading to the natural logarithm. So doing that, this is just equal to negative 1 over 4 still, tapos ang integral ng du over u is just simply ln of u plus c. And then last step, ibalik na lang natin in terms of x, ang u natin is negative 4x plus 7. So therefore, this is equal to negative 1 over 4 ln of negative 4x plus 7. So check natin sa taas. Our u is negative 4x plus 7 and then our arbitrary constant plus c. This is now our final answer. Now that we are done with our example number 2, talon tayo sa example number 3. Develop tayo ng kaunti. So this is the integral of e raised to 2x over e raised to 2x minus 1 dx. Medyo iba lang tong problem na to kasi meron tayong e. Pero kaya pa rin naman siyang kuhanan ng integral. Again, in this case, ilalat as you natin yung denominator that is e raised to 2x minus 1. Etong buong denominator. So, we let u be equal to e raised to 2x minus 1. Kasi kapag kakinuha natin yung derivative nito, medyo magiging kamukha siya nung nasa numerator, tapos meron lang certain na nakamultiply sa kanya. Kasi as we do that, observing, getting its derivative with respect to x, we have derivative ng u with respect to x left side, that is still du over dx. Tapos applying chain rule of differentiation, pwede mong kuhanin etong buong to as your outer function. So you copy that, e raised to 2x. Tapos, multiply mo siya dun sa derivative nung nasa exponent, that is 2x. Ang derivative ng 2x is just 2. Then, we can say that the derivative of e raised to 2x is just equal to e raised to 2x times 2. Again, you can somehow play this slowly na kapag kagagamit kayo ng chain rule na ilelet as u or other variable kasi meron na tayong u. Say, we let v be equal to 2x, then you apply the chain rule of differentiation. Pero for this one, medyo shortcut yung ginawa natin directly. The derivative of e raised to 2x is e raised to 2x times 2. Then, eto constant, wala na tayong problema. Then, we can continue. So, we have du over dx is just equal to e raised to 2x times 2, that is 2, e raised to 2x. Then, we have to solve for dx. Kailangan kasi natin mag-substitute dito. So, we multiply both sides of our equation by dx over the denominator 2, e raised to 2x. Ang mangyayari sa left side, madidivide si dx. Ang matitira ay si du over 2e raised to 2x. Tapos, dito naman sa right side, eto naman yung madidivide, kaya ang matitira na lang ay si dx. So, this is equal to dx. Now, we can perform our substitution. Ang gagawin natin, yung nasa denominator na e raised to 2x minus 1 ay papalitan ng u. Tapos, yung dx dito ay papalitan na natin ng du over 2e raised to 2x. So, doing that, this is equal to integral of, wala tayong ginawa sa numerator, e raised to 2x over 
Denominator, eto ay magiging buong U. Multiplied to, yung DX ay papalitan natin ng nito. So, you multiply it to DU over denominator is 2E raised to 2X. Then, we can perform our division. We have E raised to 2X divided by E raised to 2X sa denominator. That will become 1. Ang may E1 is integral of 1 times DU is DU. Denominator is U times 2 or simply 2U. Ang kailangan natin is DU over U. Kaya meron pa tayong constant multiple na 2 dito. Pwede natin siyang ilabas. But remember, 2 is in the denominator. Kaya dapat ang constant multiple is 1 over 2. Then ang may E1, so you have DU over U. Now this will lead to natural logarithm. So applying our integration formula, tapos na tayo. This is equal to 1 over 2. Integral of DU over U is still ln of U and then plus C, our U is e raised to 2x minus 1. So, our final answer is 1 over 2 ln of U is e raised to 2x minus 1. And then, we have our arbitrary constant C. Now, eto na ang ating final answer. We just exerted extra effort kasi kailangan pa natin gumamit ng chain rule to get the derivative of e raised to 2x. Pero kapag tapos na naman tayo dun, then upon substitution, we can divide certain terms na simplify na natin yung given expression into 1 over 2 integral of d over u, upon which pwede na tayong gumamit ng integration formula. So this is it for our example number 3. Now let us proceed with our example number 4 for this lecture video. We have integral of dx over x raised to 1 over 3 times 1 plus x raised to 2 over 3. For this example, hindi obvious kung ano yung ilalit natin as u. Pero ang maganda naman sa integration is that you can just try certain terms na ilalit mo as u tapos kapag ka naramdaman nyo na medyo nagiging komplikado or lalo lang gumugulo yung expression, then you can go back then try different terms. For this one, ang ilalit natin as u ay yung nasa parenthesis, etong buong to, that is 1 plus x raised to 2 over 3. So, bakit ito? Let us see with our process. Kasi kapag ka minultiply natin to, or again, we get its derivative with respect to x. Then, ito na kasi yung u natin, getting its derivative with respect to x to solve for dx. Left side, yun pa rin siya. So, we have derivative of u with respect to x is equal to constant. Wala tayong problema dito. Dito naman, gagamit tayo ng power rule. Ang mangyayari, so, ibababa natin to. So, that is 2 over 3. And then, imumultiply natin siya kay x. Tapos, yung nasa exponent ay babawasan natin ng isa. So, remember our power rule of differentiation. The derivative with respect to x of x raised to n is just equal to binababa yung exponent. Tapos, babawasan siya ng isa. So, ang gagawin natin, we have our 2 over 3. Ito yung n, babawasan ng isa. So, 2 over 3 minus 1, that is equal to negative 1 over 3. Then, simplify muna natin to para mas madaling masolve yung dx. So, our right side, this will become yung 2 over 3, x raised to negative 1 over 3. Dahil meron tayo negative exponent, kukuhanin natin yung reciprocal niya. So, this will become 2 over 3 times 1 over x raised to 1 over 3. Kaya, ang mangyayari as we perform our multiplication, eto ay magiging 2 over 3 times x raised to 1 over 3. Now, we can solve for the value of dx. Medyo mag-iiba siya. So, we have our dx here. Para siya lang yung matira dito sa right side, imumultiply natin siya dito sa pareho na nasa denominator. That is dx times 3x raised to 1 over 3. Tapos, yung denominator natin, eto yung nasa numerator, i-divide by 2. Kaya, ang mangyayari, if you multiply yung nasa left side, dx divided by dx is just equal to 1. Ang matitira, that will become 3x raised to 1 over 3. So, kopyahin ko na siya. 3x raised to 1 over 3 dito sa numerator times du. Tapos, yung nasa denominator will be equal to 2. Ayan na siya. As we perform multiplication dito sa left side. Now, dito sa right side, mas madali na. Kasi 3x raised to 1 over 3 divided by 3x 1 over 3, that will become 1. Tapos, 2 divided by 2, that will become 1. Kaya, ang matitira na lang ay si dx. Ito yung dahilan kung bakit ito yung minultiply natin. Para yung dx na lang yung matitira sa right side, we can easily perform our substitution. Kung titignan natin sa taas, zoom out natin siya. So we have our dx here that is equivalent to 
3x raised to 1 over 3 du over 2. Tapos dito naman, eto yung yun natin, siya yung denominator. Eto ang papalitan natin, etong 1 plus x raised to 2 over 3. Then we can perform our substitution. Medyo komplikado siya tignan at first, pero kapag ka naayos kasi natin siya this way, mas madali natin masisimplify yung expression. So tignan nyo kung ano mangyayari. Again, eto yung dx, papalitan natin dito. Now we perform our substitution. This is equal to, dito na lang siguro, para malaki yung space. So you have the integral of numerator ay papalitan natin dx ng etong buong to. Now we have our numerator as 3x raised to 1 over 3 times du and then this is all over 2. Tapos yung denominator natin, as we look here, we have x raised to 1 over 3. Tapos as we remember, etong buong to na 1 plus x raised to 2 over 3 ay pinalita natin ng u. So we have x raised to 1 over 3, this will become u. So times u. Lakihan lang natin yung integration operation para magkasya yung buo. So we are getting the integral nitong buong to. So now simplify na lang natin siya. Again, since we are performing division here, kailangan nating i-multiply etong nasa numerator sa reciprocal ng nasa denominator. So this is equal to the integral of 3x raised to 1 over 3 times du. Then this is all over 2 multiplied sa reciprocal na sa denominator, babalik ta rin natin siya. So, this will become 1 over x raised to 1 over 3 times u. Dito na magpe-pay off lahat ng effort natin. Kasi as you can see, meron tayong x raised to 1 over 3 sa numerator, meron tayong x raised to 1 over 3 sa denominator. So, meron nga pala tayong grouping symbol dito. With that, we can divide x raised to 1 over 3 divided by x raised to 1 over 3. As we perform our simplification, this is equal to the integral of numerator, we have 3 times du times 1. That is just equal to 3 du. Tapos yung denominator, so this will become 2 times u, so this will become 2u. Then this is our constant multiple. Kasi pwede natin siyang ilabas, pwede natin irepresento as 3 over 2 times du over u. And then, nakita na natin to. We can now use our formula for integration leading to ln. Ilalabas na lang natin yung constant multiple na 3 over 2. So, this is equal to 3 over 2 times the integral of du over u. Then, finally, doing our integration, this is equal to 3 over 2. Ang integral ng du over u is just equal to ln of u plus c. Last step, ibalik natin ang u in terms of x. Let us see kung ano yung value ng u. Ang nilat natin as yung kanina ay 1 plus x raised to 2 over 3. So, balikan natin siya. So, this is equal to 3 over 2 and then ln of 1 plus x raised to 2 over 3 plus the arbitrary constant c. Now, this is our final answer. So, with this, nakatapos tayo ng apat na examples about integration leading to our answer na in natural logarithm. We were able to use our formula, integral of dx over x is equal to ln of x plus c. And then mostly, gumamit tayo ng u substitution to simplify our expression para makarating tayo sa ganitong form. This ends our lecture video. I hope that you have learned something. Thank you for watching.